Good morning. We are in the car. We are at the gym, you guys. I have not worked out now in like, I want to say around two-ish weeks between being sick and then the arthritis <laughs> in my wrist. I'm sorry. I can't not laugh about the arthritis. I can't. I just, it's a lot. It's just been a lot. Honestly, 2023 low-key kicked my booty kind of ready for 2024 <laughs> but anyway i'm really excited to get back to the gym i really miss it i feel like my mental health has just not been the same without movement and like being stuck resting for so long when i was sick i just i'm someone i gotta keep moving it's just how i am so i'm really excited to get back into working out i messaged i've been keeping my um co-pilot trainer leslie like in the loop um between being sick and my wrist so i'm gonna be doing lower body for a little bit until my wrist is like good to go so the shot is definitely starting to work it hurts a little bit sometimes but it's way better but i don't want to go backwards so i'm gonna like chill on upper body because i can't use my right hand <laughs> so uh yeah we're gonna do uh some cardio and lower body today of course, you know, I'm drinking a witch's brew and it's amazing. I got a new Beyond Yoga top in this really pretty color. It's like kind of a grayish purple. I love these tops. They're buttery soft. I wear the 2X. I will link it. They're just such nice quality. All right. I, I love the way this headband looks, but like I think it's going to keep slipping. So I feel like I might have to take it out. I'm a headband girly now. These headbands are everything. I think I'm going to try to find the ones, you know, with like the jelly gummy thing underneath. So it's like non-slip. So I want to order that because... I hate when these slip back. I feel like I'll, I'm going to be on the elliptical and then it's going to just be like, it's going to be like back here on my head. I'm so excited to go work out, you guys. It's been so long. Um, and then I got to go home and wash, wash the hair. Let's go work out. guys back in the car it was a really good workout i feel a little sore in my legs already so i stretched a very long time but it was good to be back it really was so first day back i took that headband off after like a second because it started sliding i gotta find one with grip so i got a new protein bar Yarman tried it at the office and said he loved it so we got some on amazon it's the 88 acres um warm and cinnamony banana bread pumpkin seed protein bar and the ingredients are really simple it's pumpkin seeds banana maple syrup brown rice syrup cinnamon and sea salt so let's try it it looks pretty gross <laughs> which is pretty much my breakfast today that's pretty good pretty darn good we got a pack with like other flavors too so i'd give this like an eight out of ten it doesn't taste like a regular protein bar. It tastes more like, I don't know, very chewy. You'd think there would be dates in here, but pumpkin seeds are good for fertility too. So, all right, I'm gonna go home and take a full on hair wash, hair mask, shower. I'm gonna just say this. This is one of the best candles I've ever burned. It smells amazing, it has a great throw. Um, a little Bath and Body Works dupe. It's just very apple-y because I don't like anything super sweet. It's apple, cinnamon, spice. It smells divine. Look at his handsome boy. Wow. Beautiful. I cannot wait to do a hair mask. Then I have to film a haul for YouTube. And then I gotta return something to Lululemon for Yar. And then I might, might go to Home Goods to look at a side table for the study. All right, I can't get this out with one hand. Okay, I have been getting requests for an updated makeup routine. If you're not, or it, if you're, if you're not interested in makeup, skip to this time. But I know some of the people are still here for the makeup vibes. So this has been kind of like my go-to 
product list and look lately. Starting off with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I am back on my Estee Lauder Double Wear Grind. I I just love this stuff. I got back into this over the last few weeks, especially as, actually even maybe before then, I don't know, um, because I can blow my nose with this when it's like fully set throughout the day and it actually stays on pretty darn well when other ones just totally come off. I am using the shade 2C3 and of course I will link all the makeup below. But like look at the color match to the neck, it's pretty darn good. All right, foundation is on. Now I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty bronzer stick in the shade Happy Soul. This stuff is magic, it blends like butter makes the nose contour super super quick and easy and then just you know why not we're doing the double chin today i usually do it on the days like i want to go full glam <laughs> why not and then i'm blending it out with the jessup stippling brush these are the best makeup brushes you guys amazon super affordable just as good quality as like my super high-end makeup brushes and you get so many for such a good price no shedding, like just really, really good brushes. So I will link those, of course. Like I reach for these every day. And then I take my little mini beauty blender and this is how I blend the nose contour without like totally getting it everywhere and actually having it like keep its shape. It takes like two seconds and it's just the perfect little nose contour. And I've been doing my bronzer up a little bit higher just for a little bit more of a snatch. I'm back on my Tarte Shape Tape game as well. This is in the shade one, oh no, 16 and Fair Light Neutral. And I just let this sit, I let it sit. I find the coverage is better if I just give it a little time. And then in the meantime, while I let it sit, I'm gonna use the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil, that's a mouthful, in the shade Perfect Pink. I also love this e.l.f. airbrush blender brush to um, put on my blush and I just like stipple it on and it like it's effortless. It takes like a second, so good. And I might go add a little more blush after I blend out the concealer just cause it, it can get a little bit lost, but just for fun. So immediately after I blend out the concealer, I'm gonna just go right in with the Huda Beauty Cupcake Easy Bake Powder and my little Amazon Triangle Sponge. I'm also gonna link these. These are, I don't know what they put in here. I don't know. Feels just perfect. So I got this six pack of these Paw Paw Beauty Sponges. They are insanely perfect. Such a steal of a price. And I'm gonna bring that concealer excess onto my eyelid. I'm gonna set that with powder as well, otherwise I will crease. And before I bake my under eyes, I'm just gonna do a sprinkle more blush because I cannot do cream products after I go in with powder. It just does not work for me, but I love that blush. It's so beautiful. So now we're gonna go in and just set under the eye and I bring that into my nose crease as well because that's always a spot that will crease and we're just gonna let that do a little bacon and I'm gonna set my forehead now before I do my brows with some Laura Mercier the OG I'm just gonna pat that into my forehead so my brows have been real simple real simple real cute real easy real affordable NYX thick it and stick it brow gel and the Revlon color stay brow pencil this is like just my go-to brow duo right now first I just take the NYX Thick It and Stick It, and I just brush it through the hairs, give them a little bit of shape. And on a quick no makeup day, that's all I do. Um, when I'm going more glam, that's when I go in with the pencil afterwards. Revlon Color Stay, their products are really good. The Revlon Color Stay for oily skin is so similar to Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'll link that too if you want a more affordable foundation with like the same effect. Um, I literally have it, like, right here. I have a bunch of colors of it. It's very, very good. I honestly forget about it sometimes. So, yeah, I'm just filling in the brow a little bit more. And then I just took a little bit of concealer underneath. This is the NARS concealer. This stuff's amazing. It's their soft matte, and this is just holy grail. I love 
I love it. I love covering pimples with it. I love cleaning up the brows, cleaning up lips. This is another Jessup brush. I love this little buffer. It's perfect to like blend out concealer. If you like using like a brush for concealer under your eyes too, this is the move here. It's called the concealer buffer. <laughs> so it's like not a super intense brow. I try not to like, you know, spend too much time because I can get, I can get a little cuckoo with the brows. I just let it go. I'm also going to take my little puffer here and just set my eyes with a little bit of translucent powder because I have hooded eyes. So that crease, we don't want her to settle in too much. And we can now wipe away the bake. And I'm just going to give a quick set to the rest of my face. And it, this foundation will not budge. Blood, sweat, and tears. She's not going anywhere. And I am going to do setting spray later too. So great combo. So I have been using this palette from Tarte. It's the Amazonian Clay Cheek Palette called Precious Gems. So I use this bronzer and then I mix the blushes and it's stunning. I really like Amazonian Clay products because I just feel like they stay on all day long because I feel like powder products tend to fade the most quickly. It smells good. I never even realized it smells good. So I'm just taking some of that bronzer over where we did our contour and it's just going to kind of warm up the skin. I'm doing kind of a lot of bronzer today because I am going to film a clothing haul and you can get kind of washed out under the ring light over there. Okay, so my favorite of the blushes are these two, but I, I genuinely, <laughs> I mix them all and it's just oh, so pretty. I love blush. I love blush. Especially this time of year, like I want to be, I want to be really cold. <laughs> and I take the excess on my forehead and my nose just to add some color. I know it's a lot, but we love it. And then this has been the highlighter I've been using for the last, I don't know how long, several months. The Rare Beauty Mesmerize Highlighter. It is absolutely stunning. Glazed donut vibes. I'm still here for it. I got into makeup in that 2016 era with the Rudolph nose, with the heavy highlight and it sticks with me. Speaking of 2016, Morphe. <laughs> I love the Morphe setting mist. Real talk, I think I just love it because it's a continuous mist. I, li I, I like the process of it. I do think it's good. I wish we could get it in the Your Skin But Better from Make Cosmetics. This is my favorite formula, but I do like the uh, continuous setting mist. And then I'm telling you, this combo, it's not gonna budge. I am so not looking forward to blow drying my hair after this. Does anyone else just like absolutely hate blow drying their hair? Or you guys know me, I'm a simple girl. I'm all about the base of my face and I do not, I do not care about my eyes. I really don't. Um, once in a blue moon, I like to do an eyeshadow look. Um, Cause again, I grew up in the 2016 makeup era. Um, I love me a smoky eye. I'm not great at cut creases, but they are fun. Um, but nowadays I just love to throw, I'm using the bronzer, the Park Ave Princess from the palette, just right in my crease with a fluffy crease brush. That's all I'm going to do. If I ever want to do anything more, I take, um, a dark brown shadow and the Jessup brow and liner brush. This is like a chocolate brown and I just use it with eyeshadow instead of, um, liquid eyeliner and it's just effortless quickest, easiest, soft wing. It's very minimal and it just looks absolutely soft and pretty and not spending a lot of time. So I'm going to throw on some mascara now and my favorite lashes, the Kiss number 11s. Mwah, I love these lashes. Okay, lashes are on. They are still drying if you see any white. So lately I have been dabbling in the bottom mascara i know it's shocking but i do just like a really really little amount like it's so minimal and i got mascara on my nose but it's just like a tiny tiny bit and i used to feel like it made my eyes appear small but i actually think it kind of opens my eyes a little bit so i'm gonna let that dry and then i'll scrape it off but aren't these just the prettiest lashes they're perfect for everyday wear um all right lip combo at the moment i have been loving this up and down tan makeup forever lip pencil and then for the lips i rotate between a few like for the fill-in if i want to go glossy i do peachy beige 
Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. If I want to go matte rosy, I use my favorite liquid lip of all time, um, the Dior Rouge Forever Liquid in shade 100. And then lately I've been doing a more um, ombre with Max Honey Love. Going back old school. But this is a little bit darker, so it adds like a little bit more um definition but it is still like really close to my lip color just a sprinkle darker and you know me i can't help but clean up the lips i just think it looks so much sharper i don't know why it bothers some people when i do that but i take that same nars concealer and it just i'm telling you it will make your makeup look more finished it just sharpens it up a little bit and then i'll take that same little concealer buffer gently buff it in all right, now a little honey love going old school. Oh, such a classic. Oh, what was her name? J Loves Mac. I remember I discovered this from her, her channel. Blend it with your finger. And I just think it's the perfect nude lip. And then I take my little freck pen. It makes freckles, but I put my fake beauty mark right here because it makes me feel pretty. And I'm just going to take a spoolie in. Gently remove that little spot. That's the makeup. This is like my comfort makeup. It just makes me feel pretty. Put together a little bit without doing like full, full glam. And honestly, when I'm not filming, it takes me like maybe 15, 20 minutes. So, all right, I'm gonna go blow dry my hair <laughs> and hopefully not get sweaty. I'll probably open the window because it's nice and cool outside. But like when I blow dry my hair, your girl always gets hot one eternity later all right i just gave myself a fresh little blowout um i use this tool i like dried my hair about 95 percent dry and then i use this attachment on the dyson to get the nice little slip so it is what time is it 12 18 i'm gonna film this haul then have some leftover chili for lunch and then we're gonna head out and run a couple of errands. Since I went back to the gym today, I'm like, gotta close these rings. And is anyone else obsessed with closing their rings? And of course, the aftermath of filming a try on haul. What do you think? Humans are weird, huh? All right, I won't lie to you. I left my office a mess. Um, I did a Skims haul. I'm wearing the Coco shade of the Fits Everybody top. It is so comfy. I buy. Um, the Fits Everybody line and the Soft Lounge, like religiously, it's so good. I'm gonna import this footage and heat up some chili. Okay, you guys, I went and returned Yarman's Lululemon sweater. Now I'm gonna pop into Home Goods real quick, see if I can find a little side table for our study. All right, you guys, no luck. I'm leaving with nothing, shocking. Uh, I did not look around. I stayed focused on the mission and I did glance at the Christmas stuff because I could not resist. I'm so excited um, for the holidays. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna have to order a sable on Amazon. I'm looking for one that goes like over the side of the chair and they're kind of hard to find in a store. You guys, I'm absolutely obsessed with Olivia Rodrigo's new album. It's like every time I get in the car, I have to put it on. I think my favorite songs are, of course, Getting Back. I know, it's so good, so catchy. I like Lacey. I like Making the Bed, I like Logical. But overall, like, I don't really skip any songs. And that's very rare for an album for me. 
So I'm gonna do some editing and it's almost three o'clock now. So I'll probably just edit until Yara comes home and then we'll spend the night together. I'm also still obsessed with these clogs. I got them on Amazon. I'll link them again. They're just like Sherpa, kind of Birkenstock lookalikes. They're so comfy, wide foot friendly. Um, and I just, I think they're so cute and they're just nice and warm because my feet, my feet get cold. I'm always hot, but my feet get cold. All right, you guys, edited for a bit. It is 4.30. Bruni and I are watching 90 Day Fiance, the newest season of The Other Way. Danielle and Johan, they were on the last season, so I'm curious, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna be able, I hope they stay together. I don't, I don't know though. Tomorrow. Big stretch. How was your pee-pee? How was your morning pee-pee and poo-poo? Oh, did you pull off my sandal? You want your cookie? Bruni gets a cookie after his morning pee-pee poo-poo. Who's a good boy? That's a good boy. Ooh, and you want your dental chew? Here you go, Baba. Good boy sitting there. <laughs> Last night, Bruno chewed up one of his toys, so there's like fuzz everywhere. Anyway, good morning. Got some pumpkin spice coffee. I still have in my heatless curls. It's eight o'clock. Yara left for work a little while ago, and I am going to visit my grandma today with my mom. So I will take you guys along. Big stretch. Is it a big stretch if you don't say big stretch? So Bruni's probably very excited for a day with the fam. And then we just sit here for a while and he just rubs against my legs and I give him morning cuddles. <laughs> we have to do this or he like gets very upset. We can't just start the day until we have like a while of cuddles in this chair. Isn't that right, Buana? Isn't that right? <laughs> Bruno's got zoomies. <laughs> Where is he gonna come out? He literally, I came out to enjoy the morning sun and look at the, well, a little bit of foliage back here. It's pretty. And he just ran down the stairs, did one lap and then ran back up. <laughs> but it's just like so beautiful. Just like take a minute, feel the morning sun, take a minute before you're diving into your emails and the day gets hectic. Just breathe in the fresh air. Time for Bruni's breakfast. All right, I just did a very light glam. Now I'm gonna take out the heatless curls because it's just so satisfying to do it with you guys. And of course, I had to put on my Snoopy shirt for my grandpa. Ooh, pretty. You already know, I'm gonna link this. You gotta get it, it's so affordable. And I, your girl's getting it down. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but like, I think I have finally mastered heatless curls. And then I'm either gonna push it back with sunglasses or this white headband, cause you know how I do. I did a hair mask yesterday and like, it looks super duper, healthy. All right, I guess my mom is still walking cha-cha, but I brought her my old Pottery Barn lamp. I've had it in my basement. It does not fit anywhere in the house. So she wanted to replace one of her lamps and I'm like, do you want this one? And she said yes. So my mom should be back any second now, but her apartment looks so good. I think she's done decorating. It's just like so cute and cozy in here. And look how cute her bedroom is. You looking for Chach? I know, they'll be right back. Best friends, this is what they do the entire time they're together. You look super cute. Thank you. Oh, what's that tag? What? <laughs> what oh, oh, okay, wait, this is just a tag on my, should I just cut it off so it doesn't do that again? No, just tuck it in. Okay. And I like the little braid in your hair. I put a little braid for my bangs because I'm growing my bangs out. You look super cute. <gasps> you should take my picture for my dating profile. We will. 